Hey guys, my name's Chris, and you're watching WC Fishing. guys Chris here back again with another video for you all today I am back at the Hudson River which for you guys this is actually not back I've technically filmed two videos here in the last few weeks fish yesterday I didn't have the correct bait didn't catch anything I got skunked which really sucked but um, I just went to Byron Bait and Tackle and shout out to one of my subscribers Luke for telling me about Byron Bait and Tackle just found out about this bait store which I didn't even know existed very close to me which is really nice and I have access to blood worms bunker a lot of different kinds of bait things like that so I managed to get one whole bunker and one pack of a dozen blood worms uh, which are the primary baits to use in the spring strep room, which is exactly what we're hitting up today, guys. We are down here at Scenic Park at the Hudson River. Last time I uploaded a video here um, of Scenic was probably two years ago, uh, back in the summer of 2018, where I caught a couple catfish. But this time, guys, the spring strip run lasts for like mid-April to like about the end of May. Uh, so we are in the prime season right now, and there are a ton and I mean a ton of fishermen down there, uh, which is gonna make matters a little more difficult, not to mention there are so many people walking around the park right now, so I do have to be careful. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out. I have five rods with me today, and before we start the video, guys, about 91% of you watching right now are not subscribed, and I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, so please, guys, make sure to hit the red subscribe button. It is free. Smash the notification bell, and let's get fished. All right, guys, so we are back here at the Hudson, as you guys can see. It's a really gorgeous day out. Uh, there's actually no wind today, surprisingly, so I don't actually have to use my GoPro for the audio. I can use this camera, although it's probably going to be a little muffled because I have my mask on right now. Uh, but as you guys can see, there are really a, a ton of fishermen. Like, I have never seen this many fishermen here down by the Hudson. I guess everyone's hitting up the spring striper run. Oh, that's definitely really zoomed in. Hold on. There we go. Uh, yeah, but people are definitely hitting up the spring striper run. We have some really good bait today, though, guys, so I am pretty optimistic. We have five rods we're going to be throwing out there. So hopefully, we get on some fish. Let's see what we got. All right, so as you guys can see, I have my bait bag here still with everything in it. Now, it's a good chance I'll be able to reuse some of this bunker and the blood worms, but let's see how many we can use today. We have our blood worms here. We have about a dozen of them, as you guys can see, looking really fresh. And then we also have a bunker in here. So with these guys, they have actually, oh, so I just tore them in half. Let's go ahead and put this part on then right now. Uh, blood worms have uh, a mouth, a very, very sharp set of pincers. So you're gonna wanna be careful when stringing these on. Beautiful, beautiful bit of blood worm on a circle hook. As you guys can see, we're gonna go in and cast this out there. See how far we can get it out. Decent. All right, let's go ahead and put it down. I have a feeling this rig is about to get very tangled, but let's see what happens. All right, guys, so the other bit I have with me today is this nice bit of bunker. I think generally people use herring, but I think bunker is also going to work really well. So let's go ahead and chop off a bit of its tail. Let's go ahead and chunk it on one of the rods. All right, guys, as you can see, we have all four rods out in the water, all rigged up with either bunker or blood worm, perfect baits for striped bass and cats or whatever else is down there. So let's see what happens. Honestly, I just want to catch something today because I got skunked the last few days I fished down here. But honestly, I'll be happy with anything. All right, guys, we just started getting a hit on this rod. Wasn't even able to cast out the other one. We got something biting. There we have it, guys. Fish on. Feels like a catfish to me. Heavy-ish. It's like it doesn't even realize it's tough. It just feels like dead weight. But there we go. Yep, definitely something. I'm gonna go loosen the jog a little bit. Size, just in case it decides to run. It's already boiling at the surface, which is nice. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, I was right. Nice yellow bullhead catfish. That's pretty cool. Alright. Nice. Alright, alright. Please don't come off. Gotta be careful here. Don't want to put unnecessary weight on this rod. Nice. Yellow bullhead. That is a big catfish, not gonna lie. Alright, y'all. First fish of the day, 
This certainly does look like a bullhead. Pretty sure it's either a brown or a yellow. Either, either way, a really nice fish. It actually bit the bunker. Instead of teeth, famous lost words. All right, look at that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful yellow coloration. Awesome catfish. Most people hate catching cats because they're considered a trash fish, but for me, this is definitely uh, a great opportunity. They uh, feel like a dead weight while reeling really, in, so they don't put up much of a fight. But still, for me, really awesome fish to catch, so at least it against skunk today. Let's go ahead and get an underwater release on this beautiful fish. Guys, well, it really is awesome to get the skunk out of the boat. Or I guess we're not really in the boat, we're on the shore. But great to get the skunk out of the way. Awesome, nice catfish. I believe that's actually my PB brown bullhead. Uh, if it is a brown, could be a yellow, I'm not exactly sure. Great first fish, let's get the other one out there first, which is down here. The catfish actually didn't even take off the bait. It's still on the hook, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get more fish. There we go. Much better cast right there. Guys, we're getting hit real hard here. Missed the hook set. There it is again. There we go. We're on, we're on. Finally. That took forever. Ooh. There we have it, guys. That's definitely a catfish. You can tell by the way it's fighting, but it's a good fish. It took forever, man. Nice. Yeah, kitty. Get up here. Nice guys, nice. Got ourselves a new catfish. All right guys, so we have here our second fish of the day. Finally, it took a very long time. We got ourselves another little bullhead of some sort. Another cool fish though. Don't think it's a yellow bullhead, it could be a brown bullhead. Second species of the day, so that's actually pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and get an underwater release. All right guys, getting a hit on this rod. I was actually unable to get the underwater release on that fish, which was a little bit annoying, but the camera didn't turn out when I wanted to and it kind of got away. So no point in putting even that bit of underwater footage in there. It didn't actually come out well, so. We're actually getting another hit here. This feels like something, guys. I don't know. Could be a crab. Uh, can't, can't tell what this thing is. Could be a catfish that's just not fighting. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, guys, it's a catfish that I just didn't want to fight. They're a fish. Get up here. Nice guys, third fish of the day, really just right after the other one. This catfish didn't uh, even fight on the way in. It kind of just uh, was a dead weight as I brought it in. So that's actually kind of cool. We have our third fish of the day, right after the second one, at least the bites are warming up a little bit. Nice fish. This time let's make sure to get under our release. A little annoyed I couldn't get the other one. Thanks for the fight, have a good life. It looks like some guy there might have one, I can't tell. All kinds of fishermen. As you guys can probably tell, the audio was really, really crappy uh, just because the wind interference was really terrible down by the hot tent, as it always is. Basically, this guy actually managed to catch this striper, as you guys can see. That's pretty decent, too. And apparently, earlier that day, somebody caught a 40-pound striped bass, which is actually kind of ridiculous. Um, and there were a lot of people out catching other fish, like perch, catfish, things like that. Um, so the bite was really active that day. I thought I should throw in this clip because obviously you guys want to see some stripers. All right, guys, we're getting ourselves a hit here on this rod. There we go, got something. <laughs> the fourth fish of the day. Don't know what it is, but it's fighting. It feels a little bit different, actually. Let's see what we got. Could be a perch. No, another catfish. Y'all can see we have our fourth catfish of the day. Another uh, bullhead of some sort. Awesome catch, though. All right, guys. Well, it's been about half an hour since that last fish. Oh, actually, hold up. I just got a fish. Big bite. I mean, I was about to cast out the other rod, but it's had a nice hit. There it is, there it is. There we go. Fish down again. Okay. Bring this fish in. It's 
crazy how fired up the action is with these catfish. This is definitely a catfish. You can tell by the way it's fighting, but I uh, do wish there were, you know, more variety here. It's uh, getting a little bit annoying only catching these guys. It's a nice fish. All right, all right, let's do this thing. Thought I'd grab the leader on this fish. Come on, you. There we go. Oh God, this is a big catfish. All right, guys, look at that fish. I've never actually used this ever. Go ahead and uh, put this on here. As y'all can see, the scale reads 1.22, 1.24-ish. I don't know what that is in pounds, so we're gonna go convert that later. As y'all can see, awesome, awesome catch. Really happy about this catfish. Biggest one of the day by far. 1.23 kilograms, not sure what that is in pounds, but uh, great fish. And yet again, we come across another audio clip where you can't hear a word I'm saying. Basically, I just talk about how stoked I am about catching that catfish and how um, it's been a little while since I last got on a bite. And basically, all the fishermen have left. I'm um, running kind of low on bait and I'm kind of just uh, casting out the last rods of the last bit of baits I have left. Caught about five catfish up until this point, which is really a crazy number for the Hudson for me. For me personally, that was a record at the time. Five fish was pretty awesome. And here I describe how I was actually on a fish right before I got interrupted by the larger catfish that I caught. And as I almost brought it into shore, it actually managed to hide inside the rocks. And right now I'm just trying to get it out. This is the rig with three hooks, if you guys remember. So it is relatively difficult. Oh, I got it out. Yes. Oh my God, that took so long, guys. All right, guys, so he used to six fish of the day. He was stuck under that rock for like half an hour, so I feel like he's very, very tired. I'm trying to get him back as quick as possible. Cool, six fish in one day is definitely a record for me. All right, guys, there we have it. We got another fish on. Finally, this is actually really, this is actually a big fish. Wow, okay. Well, we got something on. Uh, wow, I was not expecting a bite this late, but this rod was probably the one most likely to get hit because I got so much bait on it. It's definitely a catfish. Again, it's that rock feeling like you're just pulling in dead weight. Uh, uh, guys, it's a big fish though. I mean, this is definitely the biggest one of the day. At least I think it is. Could be just a uh, strong uh, catfish. I'm gonna try to get that angle for you guys. Oh my God, did he get stuck? That's perfect. A few moments later. There it is. All right, I thought it was actually much bigger, but uh, I guess not. Good fish though, either way. Still a nice can of fish. All right, guys, so we started this. Uh... Okay, that was a, I don't know where that came from. We started this day, guys, here at the car in the parking lot about three and a half hours ago. Honestly, guys, it was an awesome, awesome trip. Obviously, I can't say that it was perfect because we did not catch a striped bass, and that was actually the main goal for today, but I'm actually pretty content catching those catfish. I was, it was pretty fun. Even though most people consider them trash fish, they're always just a great fish to catch in general. Uh, they don't put up much of a fight, which is a little bit weird, but uh, it is fun bringing in really any fish, in my opinion. Uh, and I've, you know, I've had quite a few skunks the last few times I've been here, so to go from zero fish to seven fish in a day, like that's really good. Uh, and I'm really happy about that. It was probably the best outing of 2020 so far, so real stoked about that. I'm gonna have to probably try to come back here. The problem is I don't have any more blood worms. I could go back to the barn bait and tackle, but I might have to wait until the next weekend to do that. Um, I have bunker still a little bit left, so I'll put that in the freezer and maybe we can try to use that a bit the next time we go out. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, please make sure to drop a like and I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, so please guys, make sure to hit the red subscribe button. It is free. Smash the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.